Hi everyone, my name is Tamara Kosarik and I'm one of the mentors at Social Media College. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can run an Instagram ad within the Facebook Ads Manager. Now, a lot of people are really surprised to hear that you can do that. It's Instagram and it's the Facebook Ads Manager, but Facebook actually own Instagram and Facebook have made it super easy for you to build ads across both platforms within the one Ads Manager platform, which is really great news for us. But before you begin, before you actually go and come here into the Ads Manager and build your ads, there's a few things you have to do first. Um, one thing to think about is whether you want to connect your Instagram account to your Facebook page. Now you don't have to, and in this example, we've not done that because I'm going to show you how Facebook lets you get away with that. Um, but you might want to do that because it just means that um, you can connect the accounts and have access within your business manager and it does make it super easy. Um, the other thing you need to think about is what is your ad going to say and what are the images or the videos that you're going to use to create your ad. So you want to pre-prepare those before you actually come here into the business manager to create your ad and have that ready to go. And then the other thing that you want to think about is what is the advertising objective that you want for your ad? There's a few objectives to pick from, and I'll show you those in a second, but if you can pre-prepare those, it will make building the ad so much quicker. Now, the way that you would build the ad and the way um, you would actually build an Instagram ad is really similar to the way that you would actually build a Facebook ad. And if you have built a Facebook ad before, this might be really simple for you. Um, Instagram is simply a placement within the ads manager. And placements are things like where the ad is going to be displayed. So is it going to be displayed in the Facebook newsfeed or the Facebook right-hand column? Is it going to be displayed in the Instagram newsfeed or the Instagram stories? These are all called placements. And that's pretty much the one um, differentiator between building an ad for Facebook and building an ad for Instagram. So let's assume that we've done all that pre-preparation and we're ready to go. What we would do is we would come here into our business manager, or if you're running ads still from your page, you would go to create ads. But I really encourage people to create a business manager account. It means you can do a lot more um, when it comes to building ads, you have a lot more um, functionality as well. So what you do is you come to the business manager and you will come up to the top left-hand corner, this little hamburger, and you will click on that. And you'll find ads manager if not here in the frequently used, you open it all tools up and it will be here under create and manage. And it's just the second one down, it's called ads manager. You select that. And this is where we're going to build our campaign. So even if you're running one ad, you have to build a campaign, then you have to address, um, you have to build out the ad set and then you would actually build the ad. So we start off in the campaigns tab by selecting create. And this is where we get to pick our marketing objective. So the social cafe, which is our example, is our fictional cafe. It's a fictional cafe in Sydney and we're a new cafe. So my marketing objective for our ad, I'm going to pick brand awareness. But as you can see, there's so many different um, objectives that you can pick from. We're not going to cover them all in this um, video, but have a think about what is the thing that you're wanting this ad to achieve. So for me, I want to get the word out. So for me, it's brand awareness. I want to get the word out that the social cafe is here. Um, so my marketing objective is going to be brand awareness. Then you scroll down and you actually want to give your campaign a name. Now you might be tempted to leave it as is, but think about after that you've built about five campaigns, you want to know what each campaign was about and what, what, what's contained within it. So for me, this um, campaign is going to be a free coffee offer. So I'm going to call it free coffee offer. Here are some options here about split testing, campaign budget optimization. We're going to leave those off for now and just hit continue. Next, we get to the ad set. Now, this is where we're actually going to pick our placement. But before we do that, we have to build out our audiences. So we have to give our ad set a name. 
Now, this is going to be an ad just for the general, um, it's going to be just the general location. We are a bricks and mortar business. So I'm going to target people in the general area. I'm not going to pick it, uh, the audience based on interests or a customer database for this example. So I'm going to call this uh, local Sydney area. So that when I look back at all of my ad sets, I know that this audience is the local Sydney area. That means I'm not going to do anything here in custom audiences. I'm going to come down to location. And I want people who are living in or recently in this location. So Australia's a little bit too big for me in my budget. Um, and if I place an ad for people in Brisbane, they're not going to come to my cafe. So I'm just going to select Sydney. And I might reduce that radius a little bit because I think Sydney's pretty big as it is. It's going to keep it small. So I'm happy to advertise. Actually, let's just make that a little bit smaller. I'm happy to advertise to people in the Sydney area. Now, my cafe is going to be offering a free coffee offer, and I think that's going to really appeal to um, people who work and people who work from home. So I'm going to raise my age a little bit from 25 to 40. I'm going to keep it all men and women. And I'm not going to cover, I'm not going to add any interest for this, um, for this campaign. I'm happy for it to go to everybody within the local area. Now, this is where, this is the area that you want. It's called placements. By default, Facebook will select automatic placements for you. That means that it's going to pick the placements that best suit your ads. However, what we want to do, if we just want our ad to run just on Instagram, we're going to hit edit placements and then this option drops down. Now, this is great because it allows us to tweak the placements that we want. So for this example, we just want our ad to show on Instagram. So I'm going to unselect all of the platforms except for Instagram. So as you can see here, you can run ads on Facebook, on Instagram, you can run ads on Messenger and on Audience Network. Now, Audience Network is a group of ad placements across the internet, across various apps and websites. Um, and they call that the Facebook audience network. So I've switched all of them off except for Instagram. And as I was unchecking those, these placements down here, all the little tick boxes started unticking. So what it's left me with is just the Instagram selection. So you can see here, Facebook feed, you can see here, Instagram stories, and you can see here, in Instagram, pardon me, Instagram explore. Now, the image that I've got for my ad, I don't think is going to work as well on Instagram stories. Do you notice how the image is vertical in Instagram stories, but across the feed and explore, it's a bit more square. So I'm actually going to unselect Instagram stories. You can use an image that isn't portrait for stories, but it will just put it on a background. And to be honest, it's better to pick an image that takes up the full placement than it is to just use um, an Instagram newsfeed image. So just select Instagram feed and Instagram explore and scroll down. And then the next place, the next thing to do is to set your budget and schedule. So I'm a cafe. My marketing budget isn't that great. I've got a marketing budget of $10 a day. Now you can select a daily budget or a lifetime budget. Daily budget is just that. It's how much do you want to spend per day. The lifetime budget is how much do you want to spend over the lifetime of the ad. So you pick a start date and an end date and you set one budget and it will spread the budget across. I'm going to stick with daily budget. And you can select that your ads will run continuously starting today. So when we hit publish, it will start spending or you can set a start and end date. I'm charged by impression and my delivery type is standard. So we've filled out all the ad set details. We hit continue. Now we get to build our ad. So you need to give your ad a name. We're going to call this free oh, coffee offer. Now you just want to check here that 
Facebook's picked the right page. If you manage multiple pages, you might find that it sometimes picks a different page. But this is the Facebook page. This one here is the Facebook page. And then this one here is the Instagram account. So remember at the beginning of this video, I said we have not connected our Instagram account. So let's do a little drop down and you'll see that there's no Instagram account to connect to. But that's okay. If you look at what it says, it says you selected page. Your ad will use the page name and profile picture. So it will still run in Instagram and it will use the page name and the profile picture from the Facebook account. So ours is called the Social Cafe and it's got a little blue icon. So that's going to be the name of the Instagram account that the ad runs on. If you have connected your Instagram account, you will find this plus the name of your Instagram account there and you can select the Instagram account. So for now, we'll use use selected page. And now we go to create our page. So we would have pre-prepared our ad and I've done that here. Got my ad copy and I've got my delicious coffee image. So I'm going to run a single image ad. You can pick a carousel or a single image. Uh, that's already pre-selected. And then um, it will have already pre-selected an image for you. So I'm going to say change image. That will usually pull from your Facebook page. So we're going to upload our delicious coffee. Photo. Now what's interesting here is you'll notice that my image is not actually the same size. It's not a square like it should be for Instagram, but that's okay because you'll be given the option to crop. So you can see here that I've selected my image. And as we scroll down, because we've only selected Instagram feed and Instagram Explore video, you can actually see what your video, as you build it here on the left hand side, you can actually see on the right hand side what it looks like. And so what it's done is look, it's pulled the copy from my Facebook page. But if I open my document here, I've created some, face, uh, some Instagram ad copy. So we're gonna copy that, I'm gonna close this. And we're going to put that here. I'm just going to paste it in here. Now you'll see I'll use a hashtag. You can use a hashtag or not. Hashtags are still being used on Instagram. So I'll just include that on my ad. So the ad reads free coffee today only. Come visit us today at the social cafe. Purchase a croissant or muffin to receive a free medium coffee. But you have to be quick. Offer is valid for the first 30 people only. Coffee is life. You can add a website URL. And I'm not actually going to in this case because we're a fake cafe and we don't have a website. So this is what my ad is going to look like on the Instagram feed. And if you want, you can actually open it up here and you can see what it looks like on the explore feed or the explore video. So it doesn't open up because I don't have a video. If you had a video, it would show that. So here I go. Okay, I'm happy with the look of my ad. I scroll down here. I want to make sure that my pixel is turned on. And I'm ready to go. So I'm happy with the way it looks. I've got all my copy in here. I've given it a name. I know the page it's going to go on. That looks like I'm pretty happy with that. So the next thing you're going to do is hit confirm. And it's just going to process, it's confirming my items. And you'll see down here it's publishing. So it just takes a while. Just give it a little bit to, to publish. And then it sits in review and shortly it will start to run once it goes through the review, page, uh, the review stage. And there you have it. By selecting the placement that uh, you've, wanted, um, you've wanted an Instagram ad, um, by selecting the placement of just Instagram, your ad is only going to run on Instagram. If you selected other placements, it would go across other placements. Um, but that's how you actually set up just a pure Instagram ad within the Facebook Ads Manager. 
So by now you should know how to do that. And if you enjoyed this video and you got something out of it, uh, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for some more great how-to guides. Bye for now.